we are uh, a day after the first working day of the year. And within a couple hours of that first working day yesterday, the wealthiest CEOs in this country earn more than the average worker did in an entire year. This is a problem. It's particularly a problem given that we're dealing with a cost of living crisis and an inflation without precedent in, in, in recent history. And as people are having a hard time with everything, basic necessities, buying groceries, paying their bills, they're feeling squeezed and the real salaries of workers have gone down. The wealthiest CEOs in this country have seen an increase in their wages by over 20%. They're making massive amounts of money and it shows that in this time of inflation and this crisis of cost of living, that it's very, it's working out very well for those at the very top and it's hurting workers, it's hurting families, it's hurting people. And neither the liberals or the conservatives are willing to point this out. What we are saying very clearly, and the evidence shows this, that corporate greed is causing uh, the pain that people are feeling. It's one of the elements that's contributing to the pain that people are experiencing. Corporate greed is contributing to the cost of living going up, and we need to tackle it. And while the prime minister says it's too simplistic to make CEOs pay what they owe, we disagree. We think the prime minister is wrong. It is the right thing to do to make CEOs pay what they owe. And if they're not paying what they owe, then people end up paying what, uh, then the price ends up falling on the shoulders of people. Other countries around the world are taking action against corporate greed, and we need to do that here in Canada as well. And so I want Canadians to know that that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep on fighting for you and for your families. We're going to fight back against corporate greed, and we're going to fight back to make sure the burden of this current crisis doesn't fall on your shoulders. We're going to make sure those at the very top who can afford to are paying what they owe.